Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. It's time for Faith to Live By with Sue Taylor. Thank you for joining me today on Faith to Live By. This is Sue Taylor. Yesterday we looked at the emptiness and the futility of life and the vanity of life. Today I want to share with you some thoughts on the fullness of life. John 1.16 says, From the fullness of His grace we have all received one blessing after another. And Colossians 1.19 tells us, For God was pleased to have all His fullness dwell in Him. And then in Colossians 2, 9 and 10, it says, For in Christ, all the fullness of the deity lives in bodily form, and you have been given fullness in Christ, who is the head over every power and authority. Just as we looked at the emptiness of life, which does not satisfy, today I want us to look at the fullness of life, which does satisfy. In fact, the fullness of Christ will satisfy your deepest need. You know, we can never exhaust the fullness and the vastness of God the Father and Jesus the Son. If you are ever in doubt, take a moment and look around you at the vastness of God's creation in His universe. God is so vast, how could we ever hope to exhaust that vastness? Years ago, when I was in a very stressful administrative job situation, my mind wandered to the thought of God and His management and supervision of mankind in His universe, thinking, wow. God knows how to do administration. The thought also struck me that if I was knowing, if I was all knowing, all powerful and and all everything, what would be the one thing I would want or need? God, who is everything and has everything, created us to love. The old saying, it's lonely at the top, may just apply to an all powerful, all knowing God who just wants and needs our love. That, my friend, is why he came to earth in the person of Jesus Christ to give you all his fullness, to give you all his love so that you can give love back to him. First of all, we have his fullness in the overflowing cup of salvation. Psalm 23, 5 says, You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Why does our cup overflow? Because of the fullness which is in Christ, he not only gives us his salvation, but he prepares a table for us in the presence of our enemies and he anoints us with the oil of his Holy Spirit to overcome. So no matter what your situation is today, if you know Jesus Christ and you are facing a situation where you feel like you will have to be in the presence of your enemies, you have the fullness of Christ in you and you can make a declaration of this promise that he prepares a table before you in the presence of your enemies. Secondly, we have the fullness of blessings in Christ Jesus when we bring our tithes, our gifts and our talents to him. Malachi 3.10 tells us, Bring the whole tithe into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house. Test me in this, says the Lord Almighty, and see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessing that you will not have room enough for it. I love the translation, throw open the floodgates. The floodgates in the blessing of God will not be the deluge of the wrath of God as in the time of the flood, but to pour down blessing, a blessing which will not leave you empty, but full. Trust him, beloved. Thirdly, the fullness of life in Christ gives us great joy. In John five eleven, Jesus said, I have told you this, that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. Told us what? Jesus told us that just as the Father has loved him, so he loves us and we are to remain in the Father's love and in the love of Jesus Christ. That, my beloved friend, is the fullness of life. Do you believe God loves you today? He does, and he wants you to remain, stay steady, steadfast in that love, even when you don't feel it. God has promised you and has given you his love through Jesus Christ. Fourthly, we are to have the fullness of the Spirit. Ephesians 5.18 Do not get drunk with wine, which leads to, leads to debauchery. Instead, be filled with the Spirit. Be so filled with the Spirit of God, as they of old used to say. 
that if a mosquito bit you, it would go away singing, there's power in the blood. Ask God today for more of his spirit to fill you to overflowing, to overcoming. It is his desire for you, beloved, to be filled afresh and anew today with his Holy Spirit. Fifthly, the fullness of life in Christ gives us fullness of wisdom. The wisdom of the world will and can lead us astray. But the wisdom of God is pure, right, and it's holy. Paul prayed for us in Colossians, saying, Since the day we heard about you, we have not stopped praying for you and asking God to fill you with the knowledge of his will through all spiritual wisdom and understanding. God's wisdom will always lead us in the right path to the right people at the right time, and his wisdom will cause his fullness to rest upon us. Lastly, we have the fullness of God's love. It is ours, beloved, for the taking, and to know this love that surpasses knowledge, that we may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. Don't try and understand and figure out the love of God, beloved. Just bask in it today, accept it, receive it. Say, God, today, you love me, I accept it, I walk in it, I expect it. He will not disappoint you as you live by faith in Christ Jesus. You've been listening to Faith to Live By with Sue Taylor. If you would like to write with your comments or to request a copy of this program for an $8 donation, write Sue Taylor, 10827 Highway 86 East, Neosho, Missouri, 64850. Sue Taylor is a member of the KNEO team and a keynote speaker at several church and women's events throughout the four-state area. To book Sue for your next event, Contact Sky High Radio at 417-451-5636. If you live within the broadcast area of KNEO Radio, we have a podcast just for you. The KNEO Community Connection keeps your finger on the pulse of what's coming up in the four-state area, telling you about upcoming events you don't want to miss, organizations in our communities doing great work, and conversations with the dynamic citizens who are behind it all. There's a lot going on around you that you don't want to miss. This is Luke Taylor. Join me each week as we talk about what's happening with the people who are making it happen. Brought to you by KNEO Radio 91.7 FM and the Sky High Podcast Network. Subscribe today wherever you get your podcasts.